agree. I get annoyed with the speak with animals thing too. <laughs> anyway, moving on though. So let's talk about wild shape. Sorry, I need a little, yeah. need a little, need a little liquid. Um. So wild shape got quite a lot of changes. Yeah. So, yeah. So first and foremost, uh, all wild shapes are now a bonus action. Uh, which initially felt a little weird for me, but I understand it because they're trying to avoid that thing you do where you have a turn where you prepare, you're preparing for something, but then do nothing. Those those kinds of turns, because those do suck. So sure, yeah. So all wild shapes are a bonus action, not just Moon Druid. Uh, now you used to have two uses of wild shape and then you would have unlimited uses at level 20 and there was like no in between at all uh, now you get two uses then three uses then four uses they took away the unlimited uses which we'll get to later but I'm not happy about it um, before wild shape you would get all your uses back on a short or long wrist now you get one back on a short rest, all of them back on a long wrist. You get an abil Ooh, excuse me. You get an ability at level five called Wild Resurgence to restore a use of wild shape with a spell slot. And then at level 20, you can get one use back. We'll get to that later. This is the big one. Before when you transformed into your wild shape, you took all of the hit points of the beast you turned into. Now you keep your HP and you get temporary hit points equal to uh, for regular druids equal to your uh, druid level. Uh, yes, so that's our that's our that's the big change people have been complaining about is uh, Druid no longer gets an entirely new fresh bag of hit points every time you wild shape. You get temporary hit points on top of your normal HP. And as a non-moon Druid, you get temporary hit points equal to your Druid level, which is not a ton. But... No, that is, it's in fact kind of dog shit, actually. It's a little low, but I would like to point out something that's really important is you can't be knocked out of your wild shape from taking damage anymore. So it's not like, you know, you lose those 10 hit points and you revert to human form or you go at half, you know, or you get to half HP and you revert. Like you literally cannot be knocked out of your wild shape unless you're, I think it's incapacitated, dead or unconscious. Or you turn it off yourself, obviously. Uh, so, yes, you lose out on the hit point tank thing, but you can be an animal as long as you want. I mean, I I understand the change. I am not too bothered by it as someone who has to be someone who is often on the DM side of the table. I get it. I mean, I really like druids, so I'm sad on one hand, but I understand it on the other hand. Um. And quite frankly, unless you're a moon druid, most people aren't wild shaping for, for fighting purposes very much anyway. And the moon druid gets quite a quite a bit more of that temporary HP. So I don't think it's too bad, personally. I don't know about you. Yeah, I mean, I don't I'm not in love with it because so the thing that confused me, right, is that you can't do it infinitely anymore. You can't wild shape infinitely. Yep. But you also don't get the crazy hit points. And I figured you the reason why you would take away the infinite casts is because at level 20, like the, the joke is that druids have infinite HP and they kind of do, right? They do, like, yes. You can turn into like a T-Rex. Over and over again. Basically every turn and, huh? Over and over again, yeah. Yeah, yeah infinitely and have just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hit points. Yes. So you're like, okay, we'll just limit how many times they can transform, even at the highest level. All right. But then you can't get the hit points. So you're like, wait, but now they can't really tank at all. Well, unless here's the you're thing. Moon Druid. You could still sort of kind of have infinite hit points because you could just 
keep re-upping the temporary hit points. It's not quite as good, obviously, because the temporary hit points will be easier to chew through, but you still can keep, you could keep re-upping the temporary hit points, which is why the main reason they got rid of the infinite thing, I think. I just, I mean, look, you gotta admit, Wild Shape was too strong before, so they had to figure out some kind of way to narrow down that ridiculous tank buffing nonsense they could do, you know? I did, actually. I thought about this. Mm-hmm, Okay. So as it, I, I, there's no article for this, and I did not consult the Necronomicon, so you can feel free to correct me. But there is no uh, spell slot cap you have to meet to re-up your wild shape, right? Well, how do you mean? So I'm assuming you just start from level one spell slots. You just you just eat them up, or is it highest spell slots or whatever? Are you talking about for the wild resurgence ability? Yeah. No, it is capped. Uh, so once on each of your turns, if you have no wild shapes, you can give yourself one use by expending a spell slot. But it's any spell slot. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you could very easily make it so that rather than just having like, it's like, oh, you you when you cast wild shape, if you don't have any left, what you burn a spell slot equal to the challenge rating of the creature. And I believe in normal druid, you max out at challenge rating five. So you can't go past challenge rating five. And you can only do that three times. And then you can't be a T-Rex anymore, but you could be like, uh, wait, are you talking about a grizzly bear? Non-moon druid? Non-moon druid maxes out at CR one. Oh yeah, then what the fuck? What are you, what, which part are you, what the fuck? Hmm. Wait, which part are you questioning? Well, now I feel like there's even less reason to not, because, like, hold on. I'm going to check the bestiary real quick and see So, <sighs> what's the highest HP beast you can be. I mean, look, it doesn't even really matter. Like, the HP was just strong either way. You know, like, it was just good. <laughs> so, like, it was, it was good. Don't get me wrong. It was very good. I think it was just too much. You know, I honestly, I think they were my, my thing is, I think they were maybe just a little too restrictive with the temporary HP. They could have been like a little more lenient, maybe, maybe two times your druid level. But I think the temporary HP thing is, is a pretty good like half measure, you know what I mean? Like it's a good compromise, I feel like. Yeah, it's it's not it's not a bad one, I'll give you that. It, it you know, it, it's like the pal like let's put it this way. Paladin Smite, it was like, okay, Paladin Smite needed to be compromised on. Okay. They went too overboard with Paladin Smite and and compromised too much. Wild shapes on druids, I feel like they compromised better. You know, you know what I mean? Yes. Uh, another thing with the beast forms. Huh, so this is one of those ones that's just a lim honestly is literally just a limitation for newer players. If you're an old player and you know what you're doing, I feel like it's fine to just ignore this new rule. Uh, but the new rule is you choose a number of forms, you know, and then when you finish a long rest, you can replace those forms. And as you level up, you get to learn more. So at level two, you know four forms. At level six, no, sorry, level four, you know six forms. And at level eight, you know, or, God damn it. At, or no, yeah, at level eight, you know eight forms. So it's like you could turn into four animals, six animals, and then eight animals. And again, I really think the only reason they put this rule in there is just to try and narrow down the options for newer players. So, like, if you're an old school player, just be like, hey, DM, can I just ignore that little bit there? Because I don't, we don't need that, you know? Yeah, I mean, so one thing I actually, I, I saw some people complaining about this, and I think you're wrong fundamentally, is uh, people were, I saw some people upset that you go back to animals rather than the archetype. 
Yeah, no, I don't like the architecture. And I mean, no, I, I don't either. I don't either. It, like, it took all of the fun out of being like looking through the beast. Oh, I want to be a thing. Yeah, yeah. like, yeah. Um, I don't know my so my thing has always been, and again, I'm, I did not consult, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't like that it's like you can't be a thing that flies until level five. That is still there, yes. That's so dorky. I like. Also, that being said, I think it's so level, dumb that level eight, by the way. Yeah. Level eight, even stupider. Level eight for for base druid. Level five is a third level spell. I'm oh, sorry, fly is a third level spell. That's level it five. Is, yes. Why the fuck? It's just dumb. I like. That's always that's one of the things that's always killed me about wild shape is that it's like what. But I want to be a bird. Well, you're not level eight. It's like, but yes. But I want to be a bird. You know what I mean? Yes, I, that is one of those ones I've always found. Yeah, a little strange. Um, you will be happy to hear, though, Circle of the Moon Druid does not have that problem. Hmm? Huh? Yeah, we'll get there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, where was I? Do, do, do. Um, oh, also, you can now talk in your beast form. Yes. Yes, you can. Which... I, under- I, I, I understand, I get it, but also, I feel like it's very funny when you try to communicate with your druid as a bear and they just have to growl at you. I just think that's funny. So I'm a little sad to see uh, it. Go, I, will, I, I won't disagree. It. it is funny. It's, yes. Uh, <laughs> I get it. But I am, I, yeah, I'm like, mm. I get it. But it's, it amuses me. It amuses me in a special kind of way, you know? <laughs> I don't know. Look, I mean, the the funniest part, one of the funniest parts about Keyleth as a character from campaign one is every time she's an Earth Elemental and they're like, yeah, yeah. what's wrong, Kiki? It's little Timmy dropped in the well. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> she's like, fuck you. <laughs> she just makes rock noises. That's what I'm saying. It's just, that shit's hilarious. Um, You still cannot uh, spell cast in wild shape, uh, but you can cast a concentration spell and then transform, of course. Uh, and, you know, the usual, like, you can't interact with things uh, that, you know, if you're a bear, you can't pick up a spoon, you know, that type of shit. Um, I would just always be a raccoon because raccoons have opposable thumbs. That's very true. Uh, and then we have.